Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in today's video, we are doing a get ready with me slash a Sephora VIB sale haul. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please do subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl. Give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. So today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a blue eye look. From the last time that I did a Get Ready With Me, you guys saw that I did like this very summery vibe, like tropical orange, pinks, and purples look. And from that palette, I said I really wanted to play with the blue and the green. And I think what I'm gonna do is just try to accomplish a blue look. So we'll see if I am successful today. Obviously did not practice because um, I'm not a makeup beauty guru, as you all know. And yeah, but before we get into the like makeup portion, I did get some new makeup recently and I do want to share with you guys what I got. I went to Sephora because I needed to top up on some things and there's a sale going on if you're a VIB or a VIB Rouge or Rouge member and then I, don't, I forget what like all the other ones are, but I'm a VIB one. I was a Rouge last year, <laughs> but this year um, I am a VIB. I have not been spending that much recently on makeup. I've definitely been trying to take a more minimal approach to makeup. I do still love wearing it, but I feel like just taking a more minimal approach, not trying to look for full coverage because I, I, don't, I don't need that. I don't need that full coverage, girl. And plus I like it when my skin kind of peeks through. It makes me feel a lot better. So, cause it's just, I, I just want to go for a more natural look. But anyways, I am digressing quite a bit actually, quite a bit. The makeup that I needed to top up on was just like a few things that I was like, okay, I've been wanting to try some of these, but also I need to get more of this. So I already prepped and primed my skin. I did my skincare and I have my primer on, which my primer is my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. You can see that here. I love this because it really does feel like a primer and that I, I feel like my pores kind of melt away. You can't really see them, but also it has SPF 40 in it. My skin does not react to it at all in a negative way. Clean and it is cruelty free, which I love. And yeah, it has no white cast, which means that it is chocolate girl friendly and we're all about that. So yeah, there, that was one thing that I got like a top of, of in the VIB sale slash my haul. I also, because I am doing a blue shadow look, I thought it would be appropriate to get an eyeshadow primer. primer. And I didn't even check to see if it was like a really white or anything. I just got it because it was pretty cheap. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer, eye primer. So I got that. I am going to just scoop that up because it just, okay, now it's no longer coming out, which is nice. Weird, very weird. Well, it is pretty light on me anyway, so I guess that's not, it's it's doing what I need it to do, which is great. I'm just putting it on with my fingers. Probably shouldn't have put this much, but that much came out, so. Yeah, I basically wanted to get this primer because I'm doing a blue eyeshadow look and I just wanted the colors to be a little bit more vibrant. I really do feel like I put too, Whew. it just like that amount was just really, I'm using my Bioderm. I got this at Costco and it's really good for if you have sensitive skin, I've heard it's really good. If you have sensitive skin, if you're looking for micellar water. And I've been meaning to try it out and it was very affordable when I got it at Costco. So I thought, why not? 
Okay, now that that is off, I'm gonna reprime my skin a little bit with my super goop. And this is real, I did not practice. We'll put the primer on later. <laughs> but yeah, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I also topped up on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel, which you can see there. And then I got the Rare Blue Beauty Luminizer in the shade Flaunt because I just really have been into creams lately and I'm trying to find the perfect one. And the last product of this haul that I got was the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the Fly Liner in Cause I'm Black. So you guys can see that there, right there. The autofocus on this camera is insane. I'm just, ugh, I'm so happy that I have this new camera. Anyways, and the dip brow looks like this. This is like an old one, but I'm about to run low on it. So I just got it topped up in the same shade. I got ebony, as you can see there. I go for a more brown. I don't go for granite because just to, because it looks just as dark anyway with the ebony and I don't need it to be that dark. So what I'm going to start off doing is my brows just because I feel like I get a cleaner look when I start off with my brows this way. Mainly my brows underneath just feel a little bit cleaner to me. I am also going to list below every product that I'm using. So if you have questions on shades and stuff like that or products that I'm using, it's all going to be linked down below. I'm using my Fenty Beauty Brown MVP in the shade Black Brown. So I'm just gonna go underneath my brow and just give myself a nice little line just so that it is defined. Get some very like strokes and essentially that brow is done. I will zoom you guys in so you can see how this is looking up close. I find that's like a little bit helpful <laughs> to have it zoomed in. I'm gonna just do the same thing on the other side. Just do a nice little line, just so I can have that definition. My brows are so, I have such curly hair, it's ridiculous. So they're curly at the tails here. And I don't do that much on the top, just because I, I have a pretty good shape anyway for my brows, like they're pretty thick. I've always had really thick, curly, brows. <laughs> so that is all I am doing for with the pencil. Then I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going, well, not really concealer. I'm going in with my foundation underneath and on top. I just find that doing that, it doesn't look super harsh. So I'm using my foundation, which is Milk Makeup in the uh, matte foundation here. I'm using it in the shade Tan. It's literally my perfect shade. I love this. I'm just putting it like a little bit on the back of my hand. go in with my brow gel and just make sure that my brow hairs are set and in place. Ooh, my brow hairs are so long. I can really go for a 
very natural look if I want it. You can kind of see. See how long that is? That's crazy. And there we go. Okay. Brows are set and done. Now to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primer eyeshadow primer put that on the back of my hand just a little bit it is kind of white so that's good for what I need it for so that my blue shadow can pull up <music> shadow I'm going to be using is from the NYX Ultimate Edit. I'm going to be using this blue shadow here and I'm just going to use the blue shadow today. I think. I think if I use the green one I would probably use it underneath. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit on my eyes. I'm going to use like a, a little angled brush. It's hard to see because it's so little. From what I remember last time with these shadows, you really have to pack on. But because I have this primer on, hopefully I won't have to pack too much on. Ooh, and I'm just adding it. I'm not swiping because I just want the best, fullest coverage that I can get for the shadow. And NYX is a drugstore product, so it's I'm not expecting it to be like this perfect eyeshadow as you guys could tell from last time like it was a little bit patchy but if you pat more than swipe you get better payoff in my opinion which I'm getting pretty good payoff from this wow look at that that's beautiful I'm gonna go up just a hair just to cover that little section there and I feel like that's done that was very easy and did not take that long either because it's not patchy. It's not as patchy if you literally just pat. If you take it away, if you like swipe, then you can get some patches with this shadow. But it's still, I mean, I think it costs like six bucks or something like that from Target. Which is not bad because you get like such cool colors. And the payoff is not bad. Okay. I think that's great. I think I'm done. That was very easy. Just literally like pressing into the shadow and then placing it on my lid. That was nice. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation again, my Milk Makeup. I'm just gonna use that foundation brush, kind of dot it all over. And it like really does give you such a nice finish, like no streaks or anything. As you guys can see, it's really melting into my skin and it blends pretty well. Like you can go really fast with this. Put a bit on my forehead. Also something that I realized the other day, I have a three head. Do you see that? I do not have a forehead, I have a three head. I feel like I knew this when I was younger because in fifth grade, so many people would like try to measure the size of your head and be like, do you have a five head or a four head? And I remember being like, I have a three head. I like tried to make it better by saying I have a three and a half head to like try to be, have this a bigger forehead, but I really don't. I have such a small forehead, which is why I feel like baby hairs don't really work out that well for me. Like I just, the swoops. I'm not good at baby hairs, but you know, I'm trying. I'm getting better as I can get with what I got. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do what I did last time and try to open up my eyes a little bit by using the NYX white liners just a little bit not too much last time I feel like I went a little bit heavy with the white liner but I liked the end result and I thought it looked gorgeous now I'm going to go in with my born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade butterscotch it's a nice little slightly highlighting concealer for me and I'm going to use my Smashbox 
blurring concealer brush. I just put like a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm not putting too much. I like to swipe and pat, really bring it up so that it, you know, lifts my face. And then a little bit on the center and under my nose. And put a little bit more under my nose, just a tiny bit. I don't need that much. Go underneath. And I'm just going to put a, a very small amount kind of help hide that so it's like not as harsh. Like's getting them. Okay, I'm going to go in with some liquid highlight from Rare. Oh, that dofa. Wow. feels so I'm really getting it underneath my eye it feels so soft like in person you can't really see it but like you can't it's like a glow from within I feel like on camera it's coming on quite a lot and yeah I did just like put it all the way under my eye but that is fine with me it's yeah, it's like a very smooth, like, satin finish. It's very, very nice. I got this without looking at any reviews. I just was like, oh, a liquid highlighter. And I know it's by Selena, so I'll try it. I'm going to really bake, but I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, Loose Powder and Cashew. I just use enough to, like, really press into my skin and set. I also like the way that these setting powders smell. They smell really like, it's like a vanilla-y, like it's a, it's a very warm, not super sweet, but like, like vanilla marshmallow, like chocolate scent, you know? It's kind of like hot cocoa, but not as chocolatey. It's more light. It's like a lot. It feels light. It smells lighter than that to me. I don't know. I really like it. Can I close this properly? <laughs> All right. So now that that is done, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralize Blush in the shade Lovejoy. And I like quite a bit of blush. Just press it into my skin. Let me zoom you back, guys back in into the skin. But it's like, it's not crazy, but it, it looks nice, in my opinion. I, I like the way that it looks. Ooh. And it just really does a nice job of warming up my face. It's not too much and it looks glittery, but it's it's not, I promise. I'm just going to put a little bit more highlight that I have from Becca. I'm on my last, like, look at this. Like, literally just using the outskirts. I'll put a little on there. And I think I'm going to use the Fenty liner because I just I want to try it you know and I like oh. um she's pigmented oh my gosh oh <laughs> this this is my favorite liner already oh my gosh I'm for you you what This liner. Truly all the products that I have tried from Fenty have been great. Have 
been superior. I... Okay, got a little bit in my eye. They came right out. Wow. Just. Oh my gosh. I truly. It, like the points, like the tip points. And you can get such a thin, what? Oh my gosh. That was, I don't even, I don't even know how to respond. Like that was the best liner I've ever used in my life. Like literally. I always forget like how long my eyelashes are because I don't, I haven't really been wearing um, mascara and they're, they're peeking through. They're staying high. Ooh. It's really windy outside. I really love this tart. So I'm going to go in with my MAC liner and uh my, my, my mac lip liner and well it's chestnut i'm gonna go in with cork all righty and then we're gonna do a bit of london Lighten everything up. This combo is absolutely stunning. Do you see? I could be done there, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. Do you see how perfect that lip combo is? Absolutely stunning. And then the eyes, they came out so nice. That liner is insane. I don't know how else to like, that was a true reaction on camera guys. And the new products that I tried, I really liked this Rare Beauty Lum Liquid Luminizer in the shade Flaunt. I feel like it's just, it feels so soft and satiny on the skin. And it feels like it's giving you a blurring effect as well. So yeah, that was my get ready with me blue eyeshadow look along with a little Sephora VIB sale haul and my honest opinion about this Fenty Beauty fly liner in the color because I'm black. This is the best eyeliner I've ever used in my life. Like the best and it dries so like there's no transfer like I have hooded eyes there's no transfer anywhere it's not like leaking anywhere as you can see like it's pretty matte it is and I mean you can see like my long eyelashes there I didn't put on the extensions today just because I I didn't I forgot to grab them and I realized a little bit too late but yeah this is the finished look guys I hope that you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you like any part of this video, comment down below, say hi, I say hi back, and subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl on the internet. That is me, just letting you know. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Just, oh, she's feeling herself, girl. This look. I didn't have to go off this hard, but I did. I did.
I went off. Go off, sis. Go off. I'm not sure of what I see. Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes. And I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign? Yeah.